Hey guys, welcome to the Car Audio Center and today we're going to be unboxing the ILX F903D. We're going to show you everything that you get in the box. Now first off in this box you're going to get the instruction manual. We always recommend with this product read the instruction manual before you attempt to fit it because constructing the product requires you to read the manual properly because if you don't you won't get it right. Um, we still read it every time we install it even though we know how to build them up now but I'll talk you through everything as we unpack it and you'll be able to see everything that you're going to get. So first, you get the top box out of the unit, and in this comes installation kit. This is just a small template that you can use to cover up uh, the main body of the unit and the screen, behind the screen, sorry. You also get your instructions and your manuals. They also come on CD as well. Um, but you do get a paper copy. So first accessory out of the packet is the Alpine microphone, which also comes with a small stand and a sticky pad. Then you've got the Alpine wiring loom, which is just standard ISO to Alpine. Then your audio output plugs. So if you're using this with an amplifier, you have audio outs, you've got a front, rear and a subwoofer. A one meter USB extension cable. You have the steering remote and microphone inputs. You have auxiliary input as well as a reverse camera input and your parking brake wire. Alpine's GPS antenna also comes with a magnetic sticky mount as well. One of the most important things with this unit is the side brackets. These cover up all the screws on the side. You get a HDMI stay. This basically goes on after the HDMI goes in um, and just clamps it in place so it doesn't come back out. And two packs of screws. Now also in this packet you get the singled in cage from Alpine, it's just a standard Alpine cage. So if you are putting it into a vehicle with a singled in slot, it will pretty much fit straight in. You may need some accessories depending on what car you've got, um, but we are also available to check those for you. Um, you can contact us either through YouTube or on our website and we can give you the information you need. and two removal keys as well, you also get them in the box. Now the main screen comes with this notice on the front. This basically says that the power plate, which is at the back of the screen, has a pressure switch in it. This pressure switch allows the unit to work. If you do not fit this accessory then the unit will not power up. So if you are trying to pre-test the unit before fully fitting it, put the pressure plate in place. You don't have to put the screw in but put the pressure plate in place and just press it down. That will allow the unit to power 
uh, but we always recommend fully construct the unit before trying to power it up. There's your pressure plate and you've also got some screw pads that go just over the screws and two small screws. So this is the main screen. Alpine stuff always comes very well wrapped which is nice. So there's your Alpine 9 inch monitor. All the construction for this part is pretty much done so basically what you have to do is slot it in. You can set the adjustable positions on the side so you've got two adjustments on angle and also height adjustments. Last but not least, the main body of the unit. So you have your main connector that connects up to the screen. And on the back of this unit, get it the right way around first. Uh, you've got GPS input, you've got your DAB input, your pre-outs for your audio, your CAN information input, then you've got the USB, HDMI, a wired remote input, this also has your microphone input as well, and your steering control input, and then your 16-pin Alpine ISO, and you've also got a FM aerial adapter on there. They do have a little fan on the back of the unit. It's nice that if you are putting the wiring in, just to make sure that none of the wiring or any of the little loose connectors can get inside this fan housing, because if they do catch, it will cause noise as the fan spins. So what I'll do is I'll lay everything out so you can see it all and you'll get an idea of everything that you'll get in the box with the ILX F903. Here's just a quick shot of all the accessories that you'll receive with your ILX F903D. If you do have any questions on this unit or you do want to get one fitted in your vehicle but you're unsure what parts you'll need, uh, please contact us. You can find our contact information down below. And if there is anything that you would like to see unboxed, please drop us a message and we'll try and get that done for you.